What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Miranda. Thank you so much for joining. Today is going to be a little bit of a different video. I haven't done a sit down review or tutorial in a while. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my first impressions and honest review on the Bondi Boost Wave Wand. I have seen this in every influencers, Instagrams, YouTube. I have seen it all over in every ad possible. So I wanted to know if it was going to live up to the hype. So I bought it. I have not opened it. This is my first time. It actually came in the mail yesterday. You guys seem to really like my Beach Waver video. I'll leave a card up here if you want to go watch that. Before we get into it, make sure to obviously subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification to be notified whenever I upload a new video. And give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. It helps me out a lot. Leave a dislike if you didn't like it. I like to hear your guys' feedback. I like to know what you like and what you don't like, what I should do more of, what I should do less of. Any feedback at all helps me out. And leave a comment down below if you're gonna try out this wave wand or if you have any other products that you think I should try out because I am all for testing out new hair products. And without further ado, let's get right into it. This is the box that it comes in and then it slides open and it just comes with the wave wand in it. It comes with a glove, but I literally never use these, never have, throw that off to the side. And then it just looks like this. It's got three little wand barrels, pretty self-explanatory. And then if you turn it on, it is in Celsius, which I did not know. So that's kind of inconvenient because I don't know what the equivalent is in Fahrenheit. I guess this is an Australian brand, so that makes sense. And the United States just has to use Fahrenheit. So it goes up to 210 degrees Celsius, which is 410 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna turn it down to Let's do 200 degrees Celsius because that is 392 degrees Fahrenheit and that should be good, I think. I usually set my curling iron or straightener to like 380, 390. I never go all the way up to 400, so we'll leave it at 200 degrees Celsius and just let it warm up. So this is my natural hair. Um, I showered last night and let it dry and then I just combed it out. So this is my hair. It has a little bit of a wave to it. It's very dry. It is very dry. And it's a little bit frizzy. So I'm sorry if you see me looking up. I'm gonna be using the viewfinder as my mirror because I have no other way of doing, of using a mirror. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start by parting it. I think, should I do a middle part? Let's not do a middle part. Let's do like a kind of side part, like right there, yeah? So I am going to start by sectioning my hair off and tying it up. I'm going to do pretty thin layers, I think, because I don't want the waves to be like super thick or anything. So we're just gonna tie it up in a nice cute bun. <laughs> and yeah, that should be fine. And I'm gonna do pretty small sections so that the waves don't look so like uniform. I don't know if that makes any sense. I don't even know if this is how I'm supposed to do it, but we're gonna wing it and it's already warmed up. So that was super, super quick. So I'm just going to take a piece of my hair about this big, I think. Yeah, it should be fine. And what you do is you clamp it onto your hair and hold it and then you match up the first barrel to where the last barrel was and then you're left with a wave like that that's kind of cute look at that okay so throw that in the back and i'm just going to do that all around my hair let's try it again it would probably be way easier if i could actually use a mirror but it should be fine we're gonna make it work look that one looks a little wonky <laughs> but also they're just waves they don't have to be perfect at all I kind of like it to look messier anyway. So I'm kind of holding it just in one spot for like five seconds maybe. So far so good. My biggest fear when I film these videos um, and I'm using my viewfinder as a mirror is that I'm gonna clamp my ear <laughs> because I can't see that great because the screen is so tiny. Okay, so 
that's this side. That looks cute-ish. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side off camera and see if I can do it a little bit better maybe. Be right back. Okay, so this side looks a little better. Um, I think the trick is you have to alternate the ways that you use it. So one strand you'll go with this on the top and then one strand you'll go with it on the bottom. And then just alternate kind of like you would while you curl your hair to get like that messy look. Cause you can see how like these don't really blend together while these do. So I think I'm going to redo this side and alternate it and then we'll go on with the rest of the hair. Okay, that looks a lot better I think. So yeah, I mean, this this is still a little messed up just because I had it one way already. But I think the trick is to alternate the ways that you're waving it. I will say one thing I already don't like about it is how close the power button can you guys see that how close the power button is to this clamp because i've already turned it off on accident like four times so that is something that i don't really like about it but also not a deal breaker i wish it would make like a beep when it turns off so that you know like oh i turned it off on accident it doesn't do that but once again not a deal breaker for 40 dollars it's not that bad <laughs> okay so to the next layer i'm gonna throw this in the back does anyone else make like the cutest messy buns when you're not trying to and then when you are trying to you can't make a cute bun because that's me all right so then just repeat the process on each side each layer until you finish your whole head and i'll speed through this because it's probably gonna get boring So this is it after the second layer. I'm actually really liking it. And like halfway through, I was like, I'm gonna hate this. Like, I don't think this is gonna look good, but I think it's cute. It gives a really like effortless beach wavy vibe. So I'm going to finish the rest off camera and see you guys when I'm done. Okay, so here's the final product. I think it turned out pretty cute, but I do have some thoughts. First, I've made up a list of pros and cons because that's how I weigh out all of my important life decisions. And also, I'm sorry if you can hear the construction, they're working in our basement. Anyway, some pros about it is it is only $40. So if you don't think that you're gonna reach for it that often, it's not like it's a huge investment. Like I spent $120, $130 on my beach waver and I rarely ever curl my hair anymore. When I do, I'm obsessed with it. Um, it does make your hair look cute. Like it does what it should do. It does make your hair wavy. It does give your hair this beachy, effortless, wavy look. And from what I'm noticing so far, the waves are staying pretty well. Obviously, I don't have any hairspray. I think it would look super, super cute if you sprayed in like some texture spray, teased up the roots a little bit. Um, and I also think that you could make it look messy or more like put together. So I think it's a pretty versatile tool. And also my last pro that I noticed in the last section of my hair, when I kept saying I would turn it off on accident, you can actually lock it. So it stays at the temperature and stays on until you unlock it. So that gets rid of that concern. The cons are it's pretty difficult to figure out how to use, but once you figure it out, I think it's worth it. And also a big con that I have is that the handle of it right here that you actually hold on to, I notice gets kind of hot when you're using it. And it kind of started to like burn my fingers, not anything bad, but I thought I should mention it. Also, 
the Celsius thing for me is kind of annoying, but not really a pro or a con, more of just like a meh, like whatever. So those are my pros and cons. Do I think it, it's worth the $40? Absolutely. Do I think I'm going to use it really often? No, but I think it could come in handy when I have this kind of look that I'm going for. I do have some tips and tricks for you guys if you are going to buy it and if you are going to use it. Tip number one, start at the root of your hair. Don't start an inch or two down or start as close to the root as possible. I think that this gives your roots a really nice lift and it brings more volume to your hair. Tip number two is leave some slack in your hair as you're working your way down the piece of hair. This prevents you from pulling on the wave as it cools down and it losing its shape. If you pull on it and you keep it really tight while you're working your way down with a wand, it's going to lose that wave that you already did at the top because it's still cooling down. Leave some slack in it. Also, tip number three, kind of part of tip number three, to is once you start guiding it let go of the piece of hair with the hair being that loose the waves will fall into the waver where they're supposed to this is kind of hard to okay so you want the first part of the barrel when you move down to the next section of your hair to fall into the last wave of the last section that way your waves look seamless and they don't get like creases in them and if you don't if you're not guiding your hair with your hand and you just move the barrel down the wave falls into the barrel how it's supposed to be by itself i hope that makes sense if you've used a waver you kind of understand what i mean by that and fourth tip i think it is um work in as small of sections as you can because that'll give your hair more of the beachy messy undone kind of look if that's the look that you're going for but yeah so that's my first impression i think you can make your hair look super super cute with it and for 40 dollars, it's totally worth it i just think there's a little bit of a learning curve and once you get over that you're good to go it's cool that i now have this tool at my house so that if i want to do a wavy kind of look i absolutely can but yeah thank you guys so much for watching leave a comment down below if you think you're going to try it out or if you already have it and what your thoughts are on it and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye.